Hi, Mike Fallon, portrait photographer here in LA, and today we're working with the Canon EF 100mm f2.8 macro lens. Okay, so this isn't gonna be a very technical review. I'm not gonna take pictures of charts and talk about barrel distortion and pin cushion and whatnot. I'm gonna use it the way I would naturally use a lens like this. We're gonna take some nice headshots and some beauty portraits and look at it from a portrait photographer's perspective. If you wanna see a chart video, there's plenty of those out there. You're welcome to go watch those. But if you stick around, you're gonna see some portraits and see us watch us get creative. I'm gonna be shooting it both on digital and with some Kodak Portra 400 film so we can see if there's any differences between the two mediums. To help us shoot some portraits today, we've asked the lovely Caitlin to come in and join us. Is this too close? <laughs> I feel like this is too close. It is a macro lens. Okay, we're gonna start with just some basic headshots and see how this thing resolves. Yep. Beautiful. Just classic headshots. Awesome. Very good. So right off the bat, I was impressed with the resolving power of this lens. And even at smaller apertures, there's tons of background blur, giving you ultimate subject isolation. So I switched over to the film camera to take a few quick frames so that we can compare how this lens resolves on film layer. Ready? One, two, three. Even on film, this lens resolves loads of detail and sharpness for days. So far, so good. I think we got some good images with this flower wall. We're gonna try a different corner of the studio next. Okay, so we're gonna shoot some natural light for this sequence. I wanna make use of the interesting shadow play that we're getting from the window right here. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, so the sunset is on its downward trajectory. Let's see what we can get. I actually don't have any shadow on your face right now. It's just on your uh, arm. So can you get closer to the window? Right there. Yeah. Right there. There you go. You can actually feel the light, huh? But then look at me. One, two, three. I just love Kodak Portrait for its high contrast, low grain, and natural skin tones. Right now we've got interesting shadow play going on all over the front of you, and in the background I can just see a little bit of the tub in that tree. Okay, so we've come back to the flower wall. Caitlin's had a quick change, and I've handed her this bouquet as a prop. Let's see what we get. I really appreciate the image stabilization in this lens because it means I don't have to use a tripod. Uh, I like to move free form when I'm doing portraits. It lets the person move more naturally and lets me keep up with them. Okay, so we found this flower and we're trying to elegantly put it around her as if it was her top and go for a little implied look. Yeah, the eye autofocus is knocking it out right now. Of course, when your face is magnified the size of the sensor. So I've asked Caitlin to climb into the tub. We've decorated this corner here like it's somebody's elegant bathroom. I'm going to be lighting her with the flash again. Let's see how these turn out. Yep. And it's amazing, even at f6.3, I'm getting all kinds of bokeh fallout behind her. So I've switched over the film camera to get a few frames on Portra. One, two, three. I found it interesting that there was far less saturation happening to the golden chair in the background on the film images after comparing them to those from the digital. I want to take a moment to point out that there is an updated RF version of this lens, which unfortunately I was unable to get a hold of in time for this video. Drop a comment down below if you'd like to see me test the new RF model, by the way. I suspect, however, the improvements to be incremental and would like to remind you that whenever a new lens like this comes out, 
You should always check the second-hand market and compare used prices on the older model. I recommend using websites such as KEH.com. So I have about 12 shots left on this film roll and I want to try and finish it off before I send it off to the developers. Perfect. That's awesome. One, two, three. Perfect. One, two, three. There we go. I'm gonna get down too, so you're not the only one getting dirty. One, two, three. That's perfect, just like you're doing. Your eyes are really popping. Your feet are perfect. That's a good pose. Yep, just a couple more frames. That's it. Let's kill the roll. And that concludes our portrait shoot. Caitlin, how do you feel about today's work? I like today's work. I'm excited to see how they turn out. Me too. I'm particularly excited to see the film portraits. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more portrait content. We'll see you in the next video.